Kohl-Sachs law states that the temperature and pressure of an ideal gas are directly proportional, as this means that as the temperature increases, the pressure increases, and vice versa. The materials needed for this experiment are a shallow dish, some water, food coloring, candles, and a jar. So, what we're gonna do first is to fill our shallow dish with an inch or two of water. Then, add a drop of food coloring to make it easier to see. Next, place the candle into the center of the water and light them up with a match. Lastly, take your jar or glass, placing it over the top of the candle. After how many minutes, while having our jar over the candle, you will notice the candle's flame will get smaller and smaller until they are extinguished. Also, you will see that the water level underneath the jar begins to rise after the light from the candles have been fully extinguished. The water outside the jar is lower than the water inside the jar. How was the Gay-Lussac's law applied on the experiment? The jar is placed over the candle and the flame hits the air up. So when the air is heated, the gas particles expand and move faster. Putting pressure on the water that has a higher temperature is equal to higher air pressure. And that is stated in the gay lussacs law where pressure increases proportionately to temperature increase. Carbon dioxide, a product from the chemical reaction, pushes oxygen downwards since it is hotter. As more carbon dioxide is produced, there is less oxygen available for the combustion, causing the flame to grow out. This lowers the temperature of the air, applying the Gay-Lussac law, and there is now less pressure on the water. The decrease in air pressure causes the water to rise.